My name is Dave Haytag. Uh, my dissertation was on creating a curriculum for high school students um, based on character, uh, craftsmen with character, uh, at-risk kids who aren't deemed college material. How do you how do you give them a sense of calling and a sense of dignity and, and purpose? Uh, it was God's intent that I was born the son of a gear maker. Okay. If you don't know what a gear maker is, we make gears for <laughs> printing presses. That for machines that make bottles, cans, cardboard, cups, uh, anything that it needs power. Trains, planes, cars, automobiles, kind of sounds like a movie. Um, batteries and even bobby pins. Gears are in everything. But it's not a very glamorous job. In fact, it's not a job that many people know much about. In fact, most Christians I've met over the years would not put gear making on par with such spiritual jobs as being a pastor or or a missionary or a theological professor. But I will say that without gears, modern civilization as we know it would not exist. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen, engineers. <laughs> Thank you. My problem has been, for most of my life, I have been a reluctant gear maker and a reluctant leader. And so for the first class that I had with BGU was in uh, Overture 1 in Ghana with Randy and Judy. And as they passed around that little rock, that what would you call that, Randy? Where peace rock. the peace rock, where you had the the, uh, the the time to speak your heart, I had a, an emotional, probably like many of you, an emotional and spiritual meltdown, because I realized God was calling me out to be the man, the husband, the father, the son, the gear maker, the leader that He intended me to be. And so every subsequent class with BGU was like another chapter of God exposing more healing that I needed in my life, more transformation that I desperately needed. I needed to exchange bitterness uh, for thanksgiving, uh, despair and sorrow for hope and joy. You know, it, it was a fascinating thing. In fact, I, I shared yesterday that every class, it didn't feel like a class. The writing the papers were not work because it felt more like therapy. And I think a lot of you know what I'm talking about. And a funny thing happened along the way, too. My family, those closest to me, my wife is here, and my three grown sons at home, they started making comments like, you're easier to live with. <laughs> and, you know, Fun Daddy, who usually only showed up on vacations, was now becoming a permanent member of the family. And my employees, who had a really difficult time adjusting to the new Dave, as they called it, who wasn't always stressed out, burned out, and on edge, but now was more intentional, more relaxed, more focused, and more reflective. And I think all those who are closest to me would, would agree that this, these last five years with BGU have been the most life-changing and life-giving of my life. So with deep, deep sincerity, I, I simply say to the BGU family, thank you.